Oh, beautiful evening across Southeast Texas. The sun gets ready to sun across the region this evening. Our roofing 911 Sky Cam Network, 82, 83 degrees. Temperatures were pretty warm today, and we're looking at mostly clear skies. Now, of course, we had the scattered storms as expected this morning with a weak front that worked in. Much drier air is working in now, so we'll see temperatures dropping on down back into the upper 50s to lower 60s coming up by tomorrow morning. No rain expected the next couple of days. Increasing rain chances still for Sunday and Monday ahead of a strong cold front that will arrive coming up on Monday of next week. Now rainfall totals not looking too impressive right now for our next rain event. Unfortunately, most areas will probably see under an inch of rain between Sunday and Monday. Hopefully that'll change a little bit as we get closer, but right now not looking too, too optimistic about any big soaking rains across the area. Hopefully that'll change though. Drier air continues to move in from the north. Look at the moisture levels just dropping as that front works onto the south in the Gulf of Mexico and humidity levels in the 20s and 30s in the lakes. Very, very nice up there. Continue with light northeasterly wind. The front basically right along the coast, slowly working on off to the south. We're in the 80s now. Beautiful evening across the rest of the state. Very nice Amarillo there at 68. 70s, 80s cover much of the southern plains this evening and across the rest of Texas, mostly clear, much drier air is working in. There's the front pushing pretty much off the coast right now as that drier air takes over. And of course, we still have Tropical Storm Carl in the extreme southern Gulf of Mexico, Bay of Campeche. He's headed southward. No worries there at all. Should make landfall on Friday, extreme southern Mexico as it works on down to the south. So great shape there. This evening, a beautiful evening, mostly clear skies, lowering humidity throughout the evening too. We'll drop into the low 70s, eventually into the 60s overnight. And by tomorrow morning, we should bottom out in the 50s across much of the area, upper 50s to around 60 along Interstate 10. And we should rebound back into the 80s coming up tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, expected no rain the next two days until we get to Sunday, where we'll have our next chance of rain in the forecast at that time. What we're watching is an area of low pressure. Unfortunately, it's going to be weakening as it works on off to the east on Sunday on into Monday. A colder air will be spilling southward into the area. So we're definitely going to get the much cooler weather next week. Rain chances still kind of iffy right now, depending on what that upper low does. So we'll keep those rain coverages around 50% for Sunday and Monday. Your marine forecast look for northeast winds to become southeast up to 15 knots. Water temperature 78 in the Gulf of Mexico. Mostly clear, a cool night tonight. Light winds looking for mid to upper 50s in the lakes in the morning. Very, very nice. Mid to upper 50s in the triangle to around 60s, mid 80s tomorrow. A mostly sunny Friday. Beautiful forecast coming up for tomorrow. Now, as we head into the weekend, looks dry through Saturday. The humidity starts coming back Saturday, though. It won't be as cool in the morning. So after tonight, we start warming up at night again. And as we head into next week, still a pretty good chance of rain for Sunday and Monday. But the big weather story is temperatures next week. We may not hit 70 next Wednesday. What do you That's with the sun. What do you make of this? I love it. Yeah, and I know you do. You were excited about the rain this morning. It's so. going to be refreshing. It's it really be refreshing. is. All right, Carrie, All thank right. you, sir.